Just as a disclaimer, I will not be showing Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon cutscenes or discuss any story related spoilers in this video. What's going on, guys? This is the Wobble Fett, here with a mechanic short. Recently, there was a new interaction discovered between Z Moves and Y Guard that gives Y Guard a serious buff in doubles play, and we'll be exploring that in this video. If you follow me on Twitter, you might have seen my tweet on the subject. When a Pokemon uses a Z Move into a Pokemon protected by Y Guard, the damage is reduced in the same way that Protect reduces Z-moves. It doesn't matter if the base of the Z-move is single or double target. For example, Drompa here knows both Hyper Voice and Hyper Beam, but both are reduced when used into a Pokémon protected by Wide Guard. Here, I show Hyper Voice after Z Hyper Voice, just so you can see that the damage of Hyper Voice is greater than that of Z Hyper Voice, indicating that it has been reduced. Additionally, it doesn't matter if the Z move is used into the Wide Guard user's partner. As long as Wide Guard is active, the damage is reduced. After Tapu Koko took the Z Hyper Beam here, the following regular Hyper Beam does considerably more damage, knocking Tapu Koko out. Since the Twitter post, I received a number of questions regarding this mechanic that I think are worth investigating. I should note that over on the Smogon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Battle Mechanics Research thread, Marty already tested most of the questions I had, so like always, be sure to check out that thread if you're ever interested in the new Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon mechanics. Of course, the link's in the description. First is from Kleppy. Does this occur in Sun and Moon? And what happens if the new versions interact with Wide Guard and Z-Moves? To answer the first question, no, it doesn't. Here's an example of Garchomp's Tectonic Rage being used into Hitmontop's Wide Guard here, and still dealing an appropriately large amount of damage. In regards to the second question, it appears that Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon overwrite Sun and Moon's mechanics whenever the two are used together. The game specifically does not allow regular Sun and Moon to select battle rules, so I suppose that that has something to do with it. Both Marty and Squirrel Boy independently verified this, as you can see on your screen. Dragon Whale asks, what about Quick Guard? Quick Guard, as far as Marty and I have tested, is unchanged from regular Sun and Moon. You would still, for example, reduce the damage from a priority Z move like from Gale Wing's Talonflame. However, it doesn't have the new Wide Guard effect of reducing G moves in general. To be clear, Crafty Shield and Matt Block also have not changed in their interactions with Z-Moves from Sun and Moon. Robbie Moore asks, do the reduction stack if I click Wide Guard and Protect? First of all, if this did work, it wouldn't always be a terrible play. For example, you could Wide Guard with a partner and Protect with Nihilego to survive Landorus T's Z Earthquake through Protect, which normally one-shots Nihilego. However, the Protected Z-Move modifiers do not stack. That is, Z-Moves only break Protect once. You can see a similar effect in Sun and Moon if you try to map block and Protect on a Z-Move, for example. Just to show this off, as you can see, Tapu Koko took comparable damage from Protected and Wide Guard Z Hyper Beam 
as just wide guarded Z Hyper Beam from before. Mahira Momtaz asks to see what happens when Komo -O uses Clangorous Soul Blaze into wide guard. I apologize for not showing the full Z move here, but I've had enough problems with the extreme Evo Boost animation flagging copyright from Pokemon, so just know that I am actually using the Z move here. As you can see, like you'd expect, Clangorous Soul Blaze deals reduced damage to both of its targets here. Many players, including myself, suspect that this new wide guard buff comes as a coding oversight when Game Freak wanted to make this particular interaction work in the first place. Marty describes a few more interactions with wide guard and Z moves that I'd like to just point out while I'm here. Like you would expect, if you Z move into your own Pokemon using wide guard, wide guard reduces the amount of damage on your partner to that of protected damage. And also as expected, wide guard maintains this behavior even in singles play, which notably means that it applies in double battles as well when the game state is treated as singles play. If you're not sure when you can get single battle situations in doubles play, check out my previous episode of Mechanics Monday called Studying Spread Modifiers to Learn. And that's all for this Mechanics Short. Until next time, have a good one.